Hi everyone. Um, last night, which was the 19th of uh, September, there was uh, a, a large fire in Moria Camp. In Moria Camp, I think there was nearly 5,000 people. Uh, it's set up for about 2,000, 2002, I think now. It used to be 700 people. Uh, and a lot of people didn't have shelter, but those that did, you know, um, last night, it caught fire. There was uh, there was trouble between uh, the residents in there last night. Obviously, we have all these dis na different nationalities living together. Uh, you in such a small area, and you know, and there's been a lot of problems in, in there regarding food and things like this. Um, you know, these things are going to happen. And last night there was a massive fire. I mean, it was really big. Um, you know, I I wasn't there, but there's a lot of reports coming in, and people were emailing us and stuff. Um, there are injured people, I've been told. The um, what I want to do, I would like to, uh, I would like to listen to Ellie from United Rescue Aid. I mean, she was down there, um, and I know some volunteers sneaked in the back and got in to help, uh, and they just found people on their own inside, um, and none of the. You know the big responsible aid agencies they all gunned their protocol and left quickly um i've been told and it was left to the volunteers and stuff to try and help anyway this is this is ellie's um you know we see what we can do here i've got it on the computer this is what ellie said last night okay let's see what we can do yes but we do need your help we do need we need money to buy water we need money to buy food we need we, we need the, you have no idea. Like it, it's awful here. Uh, right now, <clears throat> right now there is still uh, people inside Moria who is trying to help the injured um, and are trying to, you know, at least provide like food, not food actually, but like water and blankets and stuff like that. So everyone is trying to do their best, but we can't, we can't do this without you. Um, we really can't. So. If you're not, so please donate. If you don't donate to us, donate to any of the others. Like, <laughs> donate to one of the small people on the ground trying to help out right now, because we're the ones who need it. And if you are considering giving <laughs> giving a donation to like UNHCR or IRC or I don't know Red Cross or whatever, <laughs> don't. They're not doing shit. Okay. So, so please, please help us out. Um, please help us out because the situation is not going to disappear uh, in the morning. And even if they manage to rebuild Moria, this will happen again and again and again. Because uh, the problem, you know, the problem is not like one single fight. The problem is that we are uh, not letting people seek safety. We are locking them up. We are treating them like animals. And no, I'm not going to say animals because I would never treat my cat like that. Never. So, but anyway, it, it's a really bad situation for everyone. And this will happen again and again. So there needs to be another solution. But until we can find like a, a real solution and a political solution, uh, please consider helping us so we can take care of the people who are in need right now. Um, sorry for rambling. I'm tired. It's been a rough night. Um, but at least right now, people are sleeping, <laughs> many of them, and are not being burned to death. So that's good. That's good. Uh, from there, and it's quiet now. It's pretty calm now. Okay. Um, that, that... As much as I could, so... Okay, that was Ellie. She was down in Mytilene last night um, when Moria Camp burnt down. I mean, it's a massive fire. There's a lot of people there. I mean, there's, there are reports still coming in this morning. Um, the I was told the children from uh, the uh, unaccompanied children that are in there. I've been told they they were taken down to Pipka. They'd be looked after there. It'd be, you know, good to get them out of that place. Um, the there are people in Mitalini on the street sleeping. I've been told um, there are still people there. Um, there was a there was a report I read that as soon as the fire went up, all the big aid agencies got out and, and disappeared. Uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I can believe it, 
but um, and the volunteers were going around the back and trying to sneak in to help the uh, people that were still people in there. They weren't letting people in from the front. Uh, it's a massive fire, absolutely massive fire. Okay, um, I just wanted you to see that from Ellie. You know, I heard there's two plane loads of aid coming in, but we're going to need a lot of aid. We, we got nearly 5,000 people uh, with no shelter. It's going to rain, start raining today. It's going to get cold. Um, you know, anyone that can help, please help. I mean, tents, sleeping bags, warm clothes, uh, winter coats, things like that. Uh, I know we do need socks, men's shoes, uh, 40 to 44. Um, medical aid, definitely medical aid, you know. Uh, for the doctors down there, you know, we do our best on medical aid, but we keep running out. We've got over 6,000 people stuck on the island and still people coming in, you know, still people coming in. So, okay, everyone, all the best. Bye.